Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Ride Home Show. As you can see, I'm sitting all by my lonesome. Eric is out having fun at the state fair. And I told him, you know what? I'm going to do a show. I'm going to do Monday night show. I'm going to record it. I'm going to figure out all the stuff that he does, which to this point, I am already two hours behind schedule. And I'm going to try to edit it, and I'm going to have it up tonight, hopefully. But maybe not. We'll see. Depends if you're watching it, or if it's up on Wednesday, or if it's up on Thursday. So we're going to reach back into the missed connections minute. I've got a handful of them here for you. And let's dive right into it. So in Winnipeg, that's Canada, up in... uh, Wherever that is, I'm not too great at uh, geography. I almost said geology. Or is it geology? Yeah, it is geology. Wow. Showing my true colors today. This one is labeled foot buddy. That's foot, like on your feet. Buddy. You and I met a few times and had fun playing with each other's socks and shoes. Just a couple of guys having fun. Lost your contact info and would like to reconnect. Weird. Two guys, a couple of guys, playing with each other's socks and shoes. Yeah, that's a little strange. Um, All right, we're going to go to the next one here. Swipe to the left. British guy in Orange County, California. Before I start, let me say that I am a male looking to meet a girl... That may lead to a long ter- a long term relationship. Here's my background check. Thirty five years old. I'm a British, born and raised. Bachelor's degree in business. I work for LA County. Never married, no kids, drive my own car, non smoker. If you're interested and live in Orange County, California, please drop me a line and don't forget to send a picture. Smiley face. Basically, this guy just put everything down in a list. Um, Maybe that's kind of how he rolls because of his business background. I find it a little strange. If you got to list all of your um, characteristics and stuff like that, you know, it's just a lot easier to just put commas after it. You know, British, 35 years old, comma, comma, whatever. You know, don't have to put everything in a list. This is Craig's list after all. Now we're going to go to southeast Iowa in Centerville with two eyes. Maybe that's spelt wrong. Seeking Asian lady for marriage, loan term, dating, and more. I am single white male. Seek ing happiness and fun. You will be treated with the utmost respect. I will admire you and treat you like a queen. Just answer this ad and I with answer right away. Hey, oh, hey, W. Yep, this sounds sketchy at most. Like maybe this fella or lady, you know, can't discriminate here, um, doesn't exactly know how to English very much. Like school wasn't their top priority when they went to it, if they went to it. Um, yeah, but you know. They walk among us, I guess. (laughs) So, the next place we got here, this is a tad bit of a long one. Now, when I save this one, I don't remember where it's from, but it's Boise. Boise, I think, I think it's Rhode Island. I'm pretty sure that's probably the capital of Rhode Island. But then again, going back to uh, places and words and where stuff is and stuff. Cole's parking lot. Nampa, I saw you in the parking lot this evening as I arrived. You had a mini backpack, short shorts, and a yellow top. I thought you were so cute but didn't approach you because I didn't want to seem like a creep. Anyways, I arrived as you were returning something, dot dot, I think, and you passed in front of my car. Gave me an uneasy smile, but enough to have me interested. I smiled back, by the way. I left at the same time you were checking out. If you read this, get back to me so I can know your name, and maybe, if you'd like, we can get to know each other. Um, 
Lady, if you read this, run. This guy sounds like a freak. Maybe not like a freak, but weird. Definitely weird. Um, if you smile at somebody and they gave you an uneasy smile, I think that is the number one indication as they're probably not into you. Um, but hey, what do I know? Moving on. We are definitely in Rhode Island because it says Rhode Island on this one. I'm smart. Um, Duncan in Pascoag, Coag, Burryville. Yep, words are hard. And I'm going to turn the mic down a little because I'm going to read it how it's spelt. I asked for a hot cup. You made a joke. I was with someone I could respond. You are cute as hell. What the joke about the hot cup? Um, if anybody could translate that, that would be excellent. Um, punctuation is everything, and also capitalizing everything, in my head, is screaming. So, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I see capitalization, unless it's like the first letter of a sentence, whatever, you know, that's punctuation. Um, but if somebody is all caps, everything, I yell it in my head, and it makes it... Um, kind of funny all right so hopefully whatever this joke about the hot cup was was a really good one maybe that's why they're yelling because it was so funny they just whatever let's move on um in rhode island again and this one is in johnston caption your present dot 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 eerie yeah, so anyways, every day I work harder and harder to find the girl I can and will not name. Oh, punctuation again, sorry. They're all run-on sentences. I, I'm terrible at reading. Um, I work harder and harder for you, the girl I can and will not name. Dot, 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 ellipses. I really hope you appreciate my hard work and dedication. Everything is finally coming together, and I am so tired of being lonely. Not for much longer, I hope and fear. Yours forever. This one gave me the chills when I read it earlier. That is why I am reading it to you guys to hopefully give you the chills as well. Um, again, another one. You need to run. Run fast and far. Very far. Don't go to Boise because they're there too. Go somewhere else like Australia or um, somewhere else. Um, this one gave me a, a pretty hardcore creeper vibe. Um, there is nothing good about anything that this person said. And it just kind of like was more of like a somebody from the Illuminati is trying to get a hold of somebody. I don't know. Um, but since I'm superstitious, I'm not going to say that a whole lot because, you know, people people get hurt that way and we don't need that. <laughs> anyway <laughs> um again rhode island very strange place so now we're going to become a little bit more local i've got one from beaver dam wisconsin some of you might maybe know this person maybe they're looking for you a lot of our audience lives in and or around beaver dam i miss you girl girl i miss you if you are out there, I am at Family Dollar. If I'm cashiering or on the floor, say Craigslist so I know it's you. Or even just reply through here, please. <laughs> so, okay. So if you live in or around Beaver Dam, go to Family Dollar and just yell Craigslist. <laughs> that would be some funny shit right there. This guy would be like, oh, the love of my life. Where is she? Um, even better yet, if... Uh, um, you're a guy do that too that would also be really funny I might just do that that sounds like a really fun um, have a few cervezas and go do that thing and watch this guy just walk around like wow they saw my misconnections thing <laughs> that's just me I don't know whatever moving on um, going to Arizona nope not Arizona again geography New Mexico Albuquerque. If I mess that one up, please uh please let me know. I probably did. Whatever. Surprise. It's not in all caps. So let's start that over again. Surprise. Seriously. Did you think that I would be 
stupid, and fall for that talking smack about me, go find your own. You had a wonderful chance and you blew it. Enjoy hell. <laughs> so this sounds like a failed connection, which should be a whole new uh, topic on Craigslist because I feel like that would be a really good way to maybe relieve some some um, anger towards some people that you might have run into that you knew that totally effed up something somewhere in life. But it doesn't sound like this guy's happy, and it doesn't really seem like a misconnection, but it was still funny. Again, Albuquerque is a good one. Another one from Albuquerque. Um, run into my bumper. Walmart. Juan Tabo. Sure. Um... Looking for anyone who witnessed Coward running into my parked car, Silver, 2013 Nissan Rogue, at Walmart Neighborhood Market on Manuel Juan Tabo. This happened today, 7-3, between 5-15 and 5-45 p.m. They left the note with a fake number and drove off. Left my bumper with significant damage. I guess Miss Connections Minute's a good place to to reach out and find that, that jackass that... Uh, ran into your car hey you know power of the people Let's see oh i guess that's it it's not swiping anymore that has been another great episode good episode fine episode i don't know you tell me what kind of episode was it of misconnections minute which has been a fan favorite for a while um haven't done it in a little while so i figured you know why not try to Run it a little solo right now. All right, this wraps up the rest of the show here. If you're watching us on Facebook, be sure to drop a like and share with everyone. Please share our videos. As I like to say, share with your mom. Your mom might like it. Your mom might be like, hey, Pa, look at this video. This is a really good one. Um, if you're watching us on YouTube, be sure to like comment and subscribe i never thought i'd be saying those three words to a camera ever but you know what it helps us it lets us know that you're interested in what we're doing so we can come up with some more crazy weird content for you if you have any show ideas anything uh, that you guys would want to see let us know drop a comment on facebook message us text us we know 90 percent of you and i'm sure most of you guys have our phone number one of our phone numbers so let us know what you like let us know what you want to see i'm steve eric's not here thanks for watching Oh